This weekend was predicted to be the busiest late May bank holiday since 2019 after lockdown, remember, with 19 million separate leisure car trips planned. Yes, and there were queues at airports on Saturday after a major failure of the e-gate system across the UK. So what are the airports and roads likely to look like? Let's speak now to travel guru, the legend that is Simon Calder, who's currently on holiday <laughs> in Poland. Simon, you certainly get about. How's your trip from Germany to where you are? Well, OK, uh, my journey has actually been relatively smooth since I managed to get away. So I was booked on British Airways. They had a big IT failure on Thursday. I was booked on Friday. My first flight was cancelled, but then I managed to get a seat out to Prague on the um, final flight of Friday night, by which stage we were seeing at the UK border force complete failure of e-gate. Just to remind you, these things work really well as long as you're not travelling with under 12s. If you're British, if you're EU, Australian, or New Zealand, American, Canadian, Japanese, Singaporean or South Korean, you just whiz through. That covers about 70% of us. As a result of that, then you can find that you will get um, uh, through very, very swiftly. Um, but the system just failed right across the UK at Heathrow, at Gatwick, at Manchester, at Stansted and all the other airports. Um, many thousands of people spent many tens of uh, m many hours waiting in line because, of course, the uh, system couldn't process them. The UK Border Force staff had to look at every passport manually and they simply weren't staffed up for it. Since then, um, that got fixed around about tea time on Saturday night. Um, we've got a few residual flight problems, um, some of them just sort of business as usual, air traffic control delays, but nothing too bad. I'm more concerned actually about the roads and the railways this year because uh, the this week um, because, of course, we've got um, the misery of yet more rail strikes coming down the track. And for certainly today and for the next few days, if the fine weather we've been hearing about continues, everybody is going to be heading for, um, uh, for, for the seaside. Yes, of course, Simon, and it's half term as well, isn't it? So it does mean that lots of people are getting out and about. How are the roads and rails looking for the rest of the week? OK, so let's start on the roads. Um, the motoring organisations had already warned before we knew what great weather it was going to be, that it was there were going to be 19 million extra car journeys being made. I think that will increase now. Um, and roads to and from the resorts are going to be very uh, particularly um, uh, hard hit by that. On top of that, you have got the um, interesting situation of uh, the next rail strike. So your rail ticket once again becomes a bit of a lottery ticket. Um, the train drivers walk out on Wednesday the 31st and on Saturday the 3rd of May. Those are going to be the most significant strikes. It's affecting over a dozen train operators, including all the big um, long distance companies such as Avanti West Coast, uh, TransPennine Express and so on. So that is going to be a, um, a, a problem as well. On top of that, um, you've got uh, at the RMT union who will be going on strike as from the um, uh, f f from Friday. So really all the way through from late, th late Tuesday evening through to Sunday morning, there are going to be problems with the trains and that's going to uh, mess up lots of journeys. The only advice I can give is if you're lucky enough to live in Wales or Scotland or Northern Ireland, your train operators will be running as normal um, everywhere else. Just check before you try to travel by train.